Hi, I'm Sarah Mee, and today I'm going to show you how to draft a neckband pattern for a center seam v-neck. And if you want to know how to draft the neckband for an overlap v-neck, check the description. Same for a scoop neck tee. If you want to sew any of those, check the description as well. Let's get to it. All right, so you can see I have my front and my back traced off. They're overlapped on the shoulders here on the seam line. They're both on the fold. And if you're starting with a scoop neck that already had a, a neckband, then great, and you just wanna change it to a V-neck, you're going to determine how deep you want your V-neck and how far apart at the shoulders, and you're gonna redraw your neckline. So for me, I'm just gonna dip it down right here at the center front like that. If you are starting with a pattern that's never had a neckband before, you're gonna to wanna to subtract around the neckline the width of the finished neckband you plan on adding. So if you're gonna add a one inch wide neckband, take one inch off of your entire neckline and then come back here and uh, join us. All right, so now the next thing I'm gonna do now that I have my V-neck where I want it is I'm gonna add my seam line on here. So just go around your neckline and add your seam allowance. We're not really adding it, we're just drawing in the seam allowance. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw in our neckband. All right, so mine's gonna be 7 eighths of an inch wide. And I'm doing a parallel line to my seam line here, so from here to here. So I'm just drawing in the width that I want. All right, next we're going to make sure that your front, mine is already, is, extends all the way through to this edge here. And same with the back, just like this. So now we're gonna measure along the line that we just drew. Write down that number. All right, now keep this handy. Okay, so now you're gonna need a long piece of paper to do your neck band. And I recommend folding it in half, just like this. And if your pattern paper is kind of curly or you're using a really thick paper, staple it to kind of secure it because you, these long, narrow pattern pieces are very easy to get off um, kilter and you're gonna wanna make sure that they're com completely flat. All right, now I'm gonna draw a line from this fold. This fold right here is gonna end up being the center back neck. So we're gonna draw a perfectly perpendicular straight line to that center back fold, just like that. Okay, now take the number that you wrote down when you measured this line right here, and we're just gonna make a line over here. Don't, don't go crazy with your line. We're just, we're just looking for a point. Now we need to determine the width of our neckband. Like I said, mine's gonna be seven eighths plus my seam allowance. And so I'm just going to add one half of my neckband right now. So I'm gonna add the width, which is my seven eighths, plus my seam allowance. So my line right here is one and a quarter inches wide. All right, and then let's make sure this line that we drew intersects there. So this right here, this length measures this length right here. All right, now we just need to determine this distance right here, the angle of our V. So let me show you what we're talking about here. We're just gonna cut this off, all right? So right now what we're trying to do is determine this little point right here because we wanna make sure that we get that angle right so that when it's sewn right there, it's not going to buckle out or um, be too short. So this little spot right here, here was my seam line right here. This was my center front. And I'm gonna draw a line straight up from my seam line there where it intersects the fold line right here, right where the intersection right there, all right? And now we're gonna measure to that line from our interior black line there. All right, so it's three quarters of an inch for me. All right, so now we're gonna draw this line all the way down to the neck here. I'm gonna take that measurement and kick it out that same amount, just like this. All right, and now we're gonna draw these two points together, just like this. And now we are, we're almost done. Now I'm gonna also add my seam allowance while I'm here, just like this. 
right there. So this right here is our fold line and we need, so we have a fold line here and we have a fold line here. So what we can do is fold our paper again if your paper is thin enough and then you can cut it out all as one. Now, if your paper's too thick or you can't do that, here's a little trick. So we're gonna draw this width on the other side. So this exact same width, draw a parallel line on the other side. Just like that. And now we're gonna draw a point exactly on the other side, like a mirror image. So make sure you're staying square it's really important. And one way you can check is go, okay, this right here measures that, and we're gonna measure and put it on the exact same point. And now we're gonna connect these two points, just like this. And now we have a mirror image of this. Oh, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna connect it to right here, sorry. <laughs> Not here. Just like this, you want a mirror image. And now your neckband is ready to go. So. You're gonna to wanna to cut this out and then you're gonna mark the center back neck right here. So let me cut mine out. All right, and then you can double check that you actually got your angle right. I'm gonna unstaple it, open it up, and then we wanna mark our center back neck. This is pretty important. And if you don't do it here, I'm gonna make you do it in the sewing video. <laughs> So your neckband is now ready to go. The only thing you need to know now is the grain line. And I like to do a perpendicular grain line. So basically this fold line would be the grain line, just like that. Um, but if your fabric doesn't stretch going this way, uh, when you're on the length grain, you need to change it. So make sure that the greatest stretch is going along your neckband here. That is basically what dictates which direction you lay your neckband on the fabric. So check your stretch and then lay your neckband to be parallel to the stretch. And now you're ready to go. And like I said, if you wanna know how to draft um, or sew an overlap V-neck, that's linked in the description. If you wanna know how to sew the center seam V-neck, it's linked in the description. And if you wanna draft or sew the scoop neck T-shirt, um, that's in the description too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.